you've had some amazing times on this show, all of you. But I want to start, Phil, I want to come to you first. Okay. What does presenting this show mean to you? Because it's been such a massive part of your life. It's a dream job. Uh, the, this day, 30 years ago, I was in this building just across the way and it was about to start and we all stopped work because I was doing Saturday morning telly. We all stopped work to see what ITV were doing. What are they up to? What are they and up you to? watched it and I thought, you know, this is like... This is like Saturday morning telly, but for adults. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so it's one of those things you think, I would absolutely love to have a go at that. And then years later, I was a guest a few times. Um, and then and then you end up presenting it. And I think we will all agree that you... It, there have been so many presenters. You have your time. Yeah. You know, you're a custodian of yeah, the show. Definitely. It's like being the captain of the Titanic. But, you know, then there'll be someone else who'll be the... Not we the it doesn't. Well. <laughs> Didn't end the well. Queen Mary, the, analogy, the, the, Queen, the Queen Mary, although there have been times when it's felt <laughs> like the Titanic. <laughs> it's true, it's true. It's true. Um, Holly, you've been through a lot with this show. Yeah. And, I mean, your children have, have grown up throughout I this know. experience and you've shared that all with it us. It was my first job that I came back to having had my first baby, Harry. Um, and then, obviously, I was pregnant with Belle on here. And I mean, it felt like I was permanently pregnant on this show. Um, <laughs> you were. Yeah. I was, I was, it's true. I've been all shapes and sizes on this show, but also... I'm worried about this sofa in I case know. anything starts rubbing off. Uh, they, the, the thing about ha having that moment was being on maternity leave and watching the show as a viewer again and remembering and understanding how important this show is. And, and I remember just texting Phil all the time on maternity, just going, Today's show was amazing. Like, I'm here at home, I haven't slept, you know, I'm trying to feed my kids, I'm really, like, struggling. <laughs> and it just felt like there was a friend always in the corner of my room. And you, it, just a reminder of what, what this show does and how important it is. And it's nice to watch it as a viewer sometimes It's lovely. As well. it's you just so see lovely. how good in your dressing the show gown. actually is. I'd like to yeah. present it in my dressing gown. Sometimes. Yeah. I'm sure that what could be a good idea. Because <laughs> loads of people watch it in their dressing gowns, don't yeah. they? Or doing their ironing. I yeah. have so many people stop us, don't they? We go, oh, I was doing my ironing this morning watching you. You could yeah. come in in your dressing gown. Who's going to stop? You. We, we should just do have it. done it today. We could have done that today. That could have yeah. been a little, little yeah. dressed down there. All dressed up in our dresses. That's yeah. it, Amy. could have been. Mm. Dressing gown? One's the Amy. baby doll one you have. I, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't Steady know. On. Oh, the place. It's really, on. It's not a nice position for me to be in. Um, Ruth. Does that make you uncomfortable? Yeah, it really yeah. does, Mum. Um, what does this mean to you, presenting this show? Uh, well, like Philip's got his memory of when it started. When this morning started, I was working for ITV down in the West Country for Television Southwest, and I wasn't on the TV. I was the transmission assistant. And so I was intrigued because we'd heard all this talk about this new show, and I was completely intrigued that they were married. So I was like, this is, we've never seen a married couple yeah. like this. You know, so that fascinated me. And then all our monitors, we used to have one monitor that monitored the BBC feed, which I wasn't supposed to listen to, it was just there. But every so often I used to have my earphones and I used to switch over because there was this very handsome Irish ah. man on open air. Was it done on McIntyre? On open air, and I used to think, <laughs> I used to think, oh, he's a bit of all right. You know, like, mm. And then, 30 years later, oh, here I am married to him. You then him, become the married couple and, that presented And on him. the show, yeah. So you know. what did this job mean to me? It lost me my job. I was made yeah. redundant. <laughs> yes. On the BBC, because this show was so successful. Night, was. Yeah. Show. Tell us what happened. Yeah, well, we were on a show called Open Air, and it had the airwaves to itself on uh, daytime TV. It launched daytime TV. Then this morning came along, a year later, and uh, we lasted another year, and then that was it, because this morning was such a success. Mm -hmm. And the thing that this show does and has done all that time, it informs, it educates, and it entertains. Mm. And it does, does all those things, and it's actually great fun. And there is nothing, nothing like this yeah, on television at all. Nothing. There's actually nothing really like it anywhere in the world. There, there are other shows that do it their own way. Yeah. It's, it's normally quite newsy. That yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, I think we're a bit risque here that, you yeah. know, you certainly is not allowed in America. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, it's unique. It. It's definitely unique. But also, we react every day. Do we react to what people are talking about? So if yeah. we weren't working on the show, you're working in an office, you go to the supermarket, you're at the school, Gates, it's like, did you see last yeah. night? Or oh, isn't it terrible that story about? Yeah. And then we'll know we'll have those people on the show, yeah. if not that day, yeah. certainly the next day. Mm. So we're we're always reacting to things that people are talking about at home. But what does it feel like? I mean, you've just touched on it there, especially for you as well. You know, you get a lot of people that come up to you in the street if you're yeah. out and about and go, you know, I saw what you did on the show the other day and I've been affected by that. You know, we've got some amazing people that come in and do the phone-ins, lovely Denise, mm. I know Deirdre yeah. takes uh, does it now. And for people to come up to you guys in the street and go, you know, you've changed my life with what I've just We've seen. We've got an audience over here and every single member of that I audience. Know. And I we love the fact... round of applause. Well, we never have an audience in here, <laughs> so this is amazing. But these are all people who uh, represent... They're the tip of the a massive iceberg yeah. where this morning has changed or saved their lives. 
And a lot, of, a lot of people have, have definitely been touched by this show. I mean, we were watching the show last night as well with Dr Chris, who's been here for the full yeah. 30 years, which yeah. is unbelievable, who's literally a lifesaver. To be a part of this show that is such an institution, mm -hmm. it really, really is. What, what would you say, sort of going forward, fingers crossed for the next 30 years of this Well, show? we'll never book any big guests or anything anymore because the day we had the US Secretary of State in yes. this very studio, Hillary Clinton, and we were giving her all due deference, As this you woman should. could have been the next president right. of the United States. Yeah. And I, out of courtesy, Holly, out of courtesy, I thought, include the other staff. And I said, <laughs> I said, uh, Ms. Clinton, Mrs. Clinton, I said, over here, I said, is, is a young member of staff here who does the phone-in room, and his name's Rylan. Now, she's the US Secretary of State, the most powerful woman in the world at that time, and this is what happened. Oh, no. You know, we've been having so many people comment about, obviously, you um, expecting your first uh, grandchild, giving you some advice. Uh, someone says uh, you should refuse to change the nappy from day one or it's going to become your responsibility here when you don't need it. You don't need it, babe. <laughs> did you just, just call the former the First babe. Lady, the former US Secretary of State, babe? Did you just call her babe? <laughs> I, no, I called her Hill. I love her. I think she's amazing. I think all that she stands back for in the cupboard. is a lovely back, blazer. Back in the lovely cupboard. Jacket. Back in the told, cupboard. He's adorable. Him. Take Thanks, him out Hill. of the <laughs> Oh, oh, I love the fact they're wearing the same shirt. Um, <laughs> Hillary actually offered me a job after that. She was like, you can just come around with me. I think you're lovely. So, it. yeah, laugh in your own face, Dad. <laughs> <laughs>